Alrighty. Uh, heal Madahame's heart. Okay. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Uh, do we want to? What was the smoke? Oh yeah, sorry. It just helps you get out quicker. Oh, right, there we go. Deal fire damage. Freeze. Done. Wind. It's being targeted by foe. Guarantees escape from battle. Loot enemy pursuit by becoming temporarily undetectable. Doctor claims an enemy's nerves, lowering a palace's security level. Tool that allows you to return to the metaverse's entrance. I already have one, so not necessarily needed. Okay. What's up? Well, we'll stop. We don't really need to worry about making anything. We're good for now. After we adequate myself with where we were at, nice. it's been quite a while since I've wow. played last. I've been working on pro a project with DD, which I think by the time this comes out, we should be like a couple episodes in. If not, it'll be starting real soon. One or the, the other. Either way, you'll either know or will soon know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then I'm also working on some other things with Ewapcat as well, which won't be out yet. So, those are things to come, because there's editing and stuff that I need to learn how to do before I can release those episodes, those videos, projects, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Oh, oh, I was supposed to go to sleep. What if I study? Can I study instead? Okay, I'll study instead. Make sure you close up. But, yeah, because I'm going to be trying some new editing. Like, I got recordings from my point of view and his point of view, and I'm going to try to learn how to, like, go back and forth between, you know, our videos while matching up the audio. <laughs> Or if possible, I don't know how easy or difficult it is to do. What I really want to do is like have half the screen my video, half the screen his video. And just have them both going at the same time kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I've never done either of those types of things. So I have to learn it, try to figure out how to do one or the other, and then get it all made up before I can then release them. So those are going to take a little bit, but that's okay. Because there's plenty of fun shenanigans with Dee Dee in the meantime. And plus, you know, more Persona, because I need to try to crank out as many episodes as I can. Videos as I can, whatever. I always say I'm going to call it videos, but then I always go like episodes or videos. Like, I'm always just like flopping between them. <laughs> But, uh, oh, oh, we need a book? Okay. Uh, nothing we can just finish in one go. Social thought, broad complication on modern social thought. Oh, boost knowledge. Be knowledgeable about internet crimes. Okay. Authors, proficiency, whoops. Proficiency is worth studying on cleaning. Oh, it's probably increases the proficiency skill. It's filled with kindness. Increases kindness. Okay, um, I want to do this one. So I'm assuming that would be like related to the Phantom Thieves app thing that Mishima made. But I don't, I don't know for sure. Hmm? What are your thoughts? But yeah, so, currently, the plan is right now, because as the time of this recording, we are going through the first arc of Dragon Ball Z Fighters. And so when that's finished, we will then start 
the playthrough with Didi. And then once that playthrough is over, we will then start... I'm thinking we'll either start the playthrough with Erupgat after Didi's. Or what I'm thinking, because I want to get as many, as much of Persona done as I can before Game Pass takes it out. So, may, so what we, I might do instead is Monday be Persona, but have it be a longer video. And then Wednesday be the playthroughs with Didi. And then Fridays be the playthroughs with the Rupcat. I'm thinking that is what I'll do. It's kind of what I'm leaning to more towards. But, you know, again, we'll see. It just, you know, depends on what I have time for, schedule-wise and all that. But yeah, but either way, we're going to get... But isn't the environment kind of a problem? Have you heard the rumors about the transfer student? Oh, him? Yeah, he used to be all anyone ever talked about. But you remember Ms. Kamashita's big apology? The transfer student's kind of old news now. My recent... Oh. Just for... Shenanigan talk? We don't care. But, yeah. Either way, you'll get... <coughs> Dragon Ball Z Arc 1. And... Then Didi's play through with Didi. And it's just a matter of whether or not that'll go to the end and then Erupt, or Erupt will show up on Fridays. And then at some point, after one or both of those are done, we'll then go back to the second arc of Dragon Ball Z Fighter. And then the final arc. But we'll see. You know, so many options. So many things to do. Oh, I need to read this. Probably have something we have to answer. <laughs> the Golden Ratio used the Mona Lisa and the Perth Pantheon? Perth... Perth Pantheon? is a famous example. I don't I don't know what that second one is. <laughs> but a different ratio has been used in Japanese art and architecture since ancient times. I'm sure you've all heard of the silver ratio. Now then, bacon san. Take a look at this. Give me an answer. Golden ratio 1.618 Silver ratio unknown. The golden ratio is 1 by 1 1.618. But do you know the silver ratio? Is it going to be the same? Because even though like the shape is kind of funkier, like it's still as tall and as wide. Uh, let's see. It doesn't give me the option to do the same. I'm thinking then maybe it's a little taller, maybe? So it'd be 1 by 1.732. I would say it's a, it would only be like a little bit taller. It wouldn't be a lot, so it wouldn't be 3.3. And then 1, one by 1 1.414 is smaller. Can I save it? Oh, I won't let me save it here. Like, can I save it here and then go back? Alright, everyone's answer Miss Yusami Morning Lecture. 96% said 1 by 1.414. Only 4% said 1 by 1.732. So either 4% got it right and 96% got it wrong. And most of the people just didn't, aren't that right good at it which you know I don't know either so I don't know if this is something that's easy to know or not well obviously it's easy to know I can look it up right now but, but I don't know if it's like a common knowledge kind of thing 
So I'm I'm gonna go with the four percent, and I'm gonna go face the a little bit taller, hmm. uh, a little bit wider, no. I guess, because it's on the top. Nope, ninety six percent was right. Yep, answer is one by one point four one four. Dang it. You can see it closer to a square than the golden ratio, right? Uh, no, I actually kind of thought the golden one to be more like a square, because, like, the middle of, the middle of the golden ratio's design, like, is, isn't as, like, inward, unless it's talk about, like, the box up top, but, you know, who knows. I don't know. I am not an architecture savvy person. One theory says it's because Asians have rounder face. Wait, what? So they prefer a similar shape. Wait, what? What? What did I miss on that last one? Okay, this ratio was used in things like Yukioi paintings in the Pega. Hagadas at Horiyuji Temple. One you should all be familiar with is B4 sized paper. Those proportions are the silver ratio. I knew he wouldn't get it right. Duh, I mean, he's. Crap, the teacher's looking at us. Oh, yeah, I hear that mascots that. Are seen as cute have faces that are close to this ratio. In other words, wait, what? My controller? Controller disconnecting? Wait, what? Okay, that's weird. In other words, if you use this ratio, you can make cute things. I see. It is true that mascots tend to have rounded roundish faces Morgana does that mean you're a mascot huh why are you looking at me that like that because your face is round Dory well, we need to start inviting Yusuke to the hideout meetings now our fight's not over until the exhibit ends. Keep your head in the game. Okay then. Uh, uh Joe's in the way. Uh, is this? What's this again? Confidants, find available confidants, go to hideout. Confidant, find available kind of Yongin Yaya Takame. Hey, can we go to Takame? Is she available? Is that why it's saying we can go to her? Why it's taking us from the school all the way here? <sighs> the warmer it gets, the stranger people act like that perverted high school teacher. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and the rise in weirdos? You can't. You came because you saw my message, right? Um, no, I did not. I want to do a clinical trial. I want to buy some. I want to buy something. Never mind. I want to buy something. No, I lied. I just want to spend some time with you, Takama. <laughs> I made some more refinements to the medicine. Could I have you come in? I feel like my bond with Takama will grow stronger soon. So what are you going to do? Want to hang out with Takimi? Takuma? Takume? Hang out. Well, Let's then. do it. In that case, go into the exam. The exam, huh? So this is the Takuma Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Oh. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. Ah, uh, Snape. And? So I come here. Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with 
bron bronchitis, bronchitis. Is that how you spell bronchitis? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not eating. A younger girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should have. You should go to a, a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital. A university hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. A u university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Well, wait, I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please. At least just examine her. Hey. Uh, hold on. Cough, cough. Doctor, my chest really hurts. You'll be okay. Dr. Takemi will help. You can help, Doc. You can do it. You have the power. You're a doctor. <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. You sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments? You've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? You hara -san? Is Dr. Schwitzer there? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. I got you. I'll be your nurse. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Hmm. Whoops. I tempor temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that'll be one million yen for today. A million yen? That's outrageous. You're completely taking advantage of. I mean, alright. I agreed to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right, right now. What? Huh? Wait. You're actually going to pay? <laughs> By the way, the famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief staff Oyamata? Yes. Are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. Free? <laughs> you seem happy. You're so kind. Why free? You're so kind. Not really, but there is a certain amount of satisfaction in treating his patient without permission. By the way, thanks for your outburst earlier. I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Ooh la la. So, is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? I'll do whatever you want, doctor. 
It feels like my bond with Takumi is growing even deeper. Ooh, get a play, Doctor. <laughs> hey, we got rank four now. Nice. All right. You now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Death Arcana. Noise. Um, Doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, Doctor. <sighs> Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have to this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. Hey, don't try me with a good time. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. My guts are so strong right now. Bye. Okay, good work today. Thanks, Doctor. I don't, I don't understand why they do the phone call afterwards. Like, just do all the talking, like, at the clinic and then cut to here and not have this. It's a little weird. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one, huh? But maybe it's just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Especially after approving that girl's consolation without my permission. I'll reflect on my mistakes. But she need she but she ended up okay. Punish me more, hey. Sigh, good god, well, none of my medicine can cure that. <laughs> The drug does seem to be able to stable, to be more stable compared to the earlier stages, so. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there, so. Try not to die just yet, okay? Alright, take care. Woo woo! Ah, you're back. Hey, what's up? Sojiro, I'm leaving. Now listen up. Make sure you, Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's fine. Let me go out. Okay. Going to go clean some clothes. Going to clean our sooty armor because it's been like forever. Okay. Alright, uh, yes. Uh, gear, armor, let's do boots because we haven't done boots before. Uh, we'll do Sudi Yorishiro. Uh, Sudi Ch Chian Sam. I hit one more, and we'll do the ladies' armor. Run the wash. I'm gonna see what this gives us. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Your idle talk. We don't care about your idle talk. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. Cat Knight collar, Shikigami dress, Old Chiogasm, Angel's cape. Let's head back. Alrighty then. I don't want to head back though. I want to clean more armor. Don't tell me to head back. Don't. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Do not. Ah, damn it. Damn it, I want to go home. I don't want to go to school. This sucks. I'm so tired every day. I don't want to go to work. Are there any breaks coming up? All oh, this random idle chatter. I wanted to clean more armor. It is Sunday. That's good. That reminds me. The home shopping program. Oh, yeah. I don't care. I don't, I don't need the home shopping okay. department today. Let's meet at the hideout. I haven't 
Uh, it's the first real target since we found the Phantom Thieves. Come on, let's change shit. Oh, no. We're not gonna go do that yet. We ain't doing that yet. Because we need to go out and do some things. Like, go back to the armor dude. What are we doing? How are you, your studies? How are your studies going? Everything is going good here. I enhanced the medicine again. I think it'll help you make the real progress, your studies and whatnot. Oh! Talking me. Well, what do you say? Do you want to test it out? And I can't reply because we already did it. Okay. And like the picture, at first I thought it was like, at first I thought it was uh, Makoto, and I was like, wait, what? Why is she wanting to know about our study? She's literally investigating us. Write something. <laughs> like that's weird. Uh, need this menu. We now have, yeah. Yusuke, so I want to make sure he has all of his things he needs. Accuracy and rounds go up, attack goes down. Oh yeah, that's right. Protector. Uh, nothing increases both on Yusuke either. Okay. Alright. Uh. About. What is the. Oh, these are the ones like little status effects and stuff. Okay. Uh. Oh, he does succubus pajamas. Okay then. And whatever works for him. Dizzy, mana bonus, heat up, gun amp, last stand. I do we'll give him that. And I need to give him the dance where he needs to dance with us. He can dance if he want to. He can dance his life away. Uh, oh yeah, I need to check his weapons. Hana. Ooh, he has an AR as his weapon. Ah, oh, snap. Alright, and then we're going to go to... How do I get the map? Alright. I already looked at you. Why are you still saying you're new? Nobody cares. Um, map, map, map. How do I get to the map again? Been a little too long. There it is. Sorry, guys. And whale map. Who's in Shibuya? Uh, Ryuji. Not so for bookworms. For Shujin Academy. Is oh, that's the school. It's the Academy. Hideout, Station Square, Central Street, Underground Railway, Underground Mall, Ginza Line Gate, Airsoft Shop, Overt Room, Arcade, Big Bang Burger, Convenience Store Theater. I'm gonna go to... Oh yeah, Airsoft Shop. I'm gonna do that first. So we should have the money to buy the thing now. The bag off of him. Yeah. Oh, I need more guts. That's right. That's right. I forgot. I don't have the guts for it yet. 
Alright, well, do you have anything for you, Skaven? Sword with no edge. Ooh. Bye. And equip. Sell the old one. Noise. Okay. And Sounds anything good. range? No. All right, which one? Sounds good. Hmm. All right, which one? Sounds good. They just happen. You just right, have this one? new one. Oh wait. Good. Oh, that is new. That's what you're. Take your time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't break it. Okay. I thought it was just the same one at first. I didn't realize it was different. Okay. Uh. All right. Which one? No. Okay. Sounds good. No. Burn boost, freeze boost, shock boost. Uh, what's that mean though? Does it like boost using lightning moves or does it boost our defense against lightning? I don't know. Mm, that one? You change your mind? Uh, we'll just. Uh, yeah. So we'll just leave right, that be again. for now. Uh. What's up with you, dude? You know that capsule machine? That one with army rations over by the entrance? Apparently, those rations are really gross. And it's not just the flavor, there's a lot about it that's gross. They're too pricey for me and also maybe too risky. But if you're curious, why not give them a try? What? Right. Uh, your military vending machine? Oh, is this what he's talking about? Set, it says, taste test. The ration of the world volume 37. It costs 800 yen per try, but you want to give this a go? Why not? See what happens. Going on an adventure. Oh. Gave me oatmeal rations. Capsule is a bit sticky. Not too bad. Mm. Do I get something else if I do it again? Nope. Just oatmeal rations again. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, hi, bye. Uh, who's is it? Is it Ryuji? He at the arcade, of course he is. I guess we'll hang out with him. Hey, let's hang out. Let's head to the metaverse. I haven't decided yet. Wanna head to the metaverse? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Come on. Let's meet at the hideout. Oh, uh, mm. I don't mean like the palace. Okay. We still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean ah, damn about it. the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. I didn't want to go to the palace yet. Please elaborate. I want to go to Mementos. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the phantom thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, 
There's no way your desires can get distorted. S so that's how it works. Uh, obviously, I, I knew that. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Yeah, probably a good idea. Thinking back to Matarame, though. If I talk, that'd I be different. I consider pressing <laughs> charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. That gives us 14 days, so we'll probably do like we did with Kamashita. We'll spend like seven days like prepping, getting money, items, you know, whatever side things. And then when it gets down to the final week, then we will start like doing the calling card and all that. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. All right, so we just gotta steal Madarame's heart by then. There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Uh Okay, so we can go to Mementos. Hey. Shouldn't we be working on the change of heart first? Well, I guess it's fine. Target's not here. Let's continue exploring. Let me rethink this. Yeah, let's go. Do it. Are there, do we just go in and just hope we find somebody? Or do, like... What I don't get with the metaverse is what do we have to do to get like the side missions? To change party members, speak with your teammates at the palace entrance. You can also press Y and select stats at the menu. Let's give it our all, Joker. Oh, so oh Morgana's staying behind. Okay. So we just I'll just go like in. This. There's like no way to like look at the thing. Progress difficulty all done. Look like there's way to access it from here. Confidant. Well then. All right, Joker. What do you want to do? That part way. Her first change card. Okay, we'll start from the beginning, start part way in. Oh yeah, that's... I mean, like, I could go in. Huh? Did you change your mind? Yeah. Oh, cause like, I don't wanna just like, go in and fight, like... I wanna do like, side missions. You know, get like... Earn things that way, and it did take uh, up back. a whole day, which well, then. is unfortunate, but you know, lesson learned. I should have just. Now listen up. Uh, do you not need help closing hey. up? Yeah. Okay, I tried. But, uh, yeah. Learn my lesson, I should have just done it, done it since I was there, but. Hey! Since I. Missed out on the day. Oh. Guy McVer, yeah. Let's watch some more Guy McVer. I forgot about Guy McVer. Damn, they shut off the power. 
How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. It's a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and integrity. Ingenuity. Mm. Not integrity. <laughs> This guy makes all sorts of tools with whatever he has on hand. Impressive. Oh. I still don't like how you sit, Morgana. So we finished watching Guy McFur, huh? Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching mm. this drama. That was the plan. Not really. It's just a movie that we hadn't read yet. Okay. So I wanted to make sure to uh, watch it. Shh. Don't question my horrible language. It's horrible. <laughs> Questioning it will just hurt your brain. Oh, timing, oh you scared? I wanted to tell you something. What's up, dude? Madarame was talking to a lawyer. I suppose he's serious about suing. Of course I he is. I think we should advance our plans. Why don't we go to the palace today? We don't need to go today. We're fine. It'll be okay. That's why we have that deadline. We have to prepare first. Yes, and we do True. need to prepare. We'll never know yeah. what will happen in the palace. We should prepare thoroughly. Yeah, we don't want to go in blindly, my dude. It's good having a calm, rational person nearby. I'm counting on you. That's probably not the best idea, but okay. <laughs> I don't know if you should trust me, but you know. Tweets their own. Oh, have you heard? Hey, Miss Chuno. Ch Chuno. Madurame, the maestro of the art world. Artists with the good of an eye are rare in Japan. I wonder if he was synesthesia. I. Don't even know that word. Yes, regarding that word, <laughs> one of many English terms that come from Greek root words. Haven't heard of it? It's a condition where your senses can cross over each other, like seeing music as color. There are all kinds of varieties, though some sense combina some sense combinations are more common than others. We call people who experience this phenomenon synth, sense. I'm just gonna call it sense. They talk about senses. I'm calling it sense. You can call it that word if you know if you can pronounce it. <laughs> Mr. Bacon, you were starting off in, staring off into space, weren't you? Well, your number's up. The root words of senses are sin and Aesthesis. A Aesthesis? What do they mean? Um. She wants to know the root words. It's all Greek to me, but I can give it a try. <coughs> Here, let's think about this. It'll be easier if we... Well, the first one is probably senses. Right? I think that's... A lot of other words too, like synergy and synchronicity and synthesis. If we think about what these words have in common, then maybe sin means opposite, powerful, together. Together. That's it? Okay. I was wrong, but at least I got it right out of the three options. Sin means together, or a combination of something. And a synthesis, huh? That's a little like the word aesthetics. I wonder if it means artist senses style. Well, the other one was was uh, was it together? Together style, together senses. It'd be like senses. Oh, uh, like coming together? Yeah, that's it. Sounds like we know the definition of the root words. 
So that means the full word basically means the five senses, senses come senses coming together. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Phew. We really gotta st stay on our toes in this class. I could use a snack after all that brain power. Let's get a treat after this. this. Good. Yay. Yeah, I wouldn't have got I probably wouldn't have gotten that with without Morgana. Yeah, so, because I thought the first part was going to be senses, but it's actually the second part. You've been studying, unfortunately, sen since sense is something you have to be born with. You can't learn it. Some of the genius over the course of history have had sen senses. The composer, Franz Liszt instructed his orchestra to play the color purple. The poet Arthur Rimbaud has also said to see colors in letters. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. He might not be too bad. You're on a roll today. I'm on a roll today. It's only one question. Relax, guys. Cool your jets. You guys either really like me or really hate me. You guys need to make up your mind. Seeing color and sounds and letters and feelings shape and feeling shapes and flavors and numbers. Geniuses and common people see the world differently. Were you able to understand that? I see. Senses, huh? That's fascinating. Although the reason Madarame sees the world differently is because of his distorted desires. Though distorted... Do we not have messages? Yep, only one. That's shocking. What happened? Have you been since our last talk? Anything bothering you? If you got time, I'd be happy to chat with you again after school. I feel like my bond with Maruki will grow stronger soon. So what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Maruki? Sure, why not? Thank you, that'd be quite helpful. Okay, I'll be waiting in the nurse's office. I guess I'll find some way to occupy myself in the meantime. I mean, like, if it's gonna grow that bond with this visit, mm. then yeah, why not do it? I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems, in other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me taken some steps towards recovery. So they have, huh? You worry too much. Thanks to you, probably. Let's be nice. Well, I can hope. I can only hope so. I don't think I've done much, but I've helped everyone. I've helped even... But if I've helped... Uh, sorry. But if I've helped even one person, then that makes it all worth it. I know I'm not the monster reliable, the most reliable guy, but remember you can always talk to me to, too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but. You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Of course. I said you'd be helping my with my research, but don't worry. It won't be anything difficult or intensive. 
I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... But let's see. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little about this research. What I'm studying now is, is pain felt in the mind. Or perhaps more fancifully in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone trying to hurtful, hurtful, saying hurtful things to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer pain defined by abstracts, like trauma or stress. Bodily physical pain can be thought of as something necessary, an autonomic with an autonomic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still. But, but what about pains felt within one's heart? The pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show there are are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I... Well, I want to learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, Bacon Coon? When someone betrays me, when I lie, when I get punched, when someone betrays me? I see. Yes. I can sympathize there. Sometimes all it takes is one betrayal for intense trust to turn into intense pain. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fell in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Bacon Coon? That one seems necessary. We were better off without it. It's a seed for new loves. Uh, sure, why not? Ha, huh, I never took you for a poet. But it's a wonderful sentiment. A very positive way of looking at it. Internal emotion, internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair ass assessment. Though personally speaking, I think it's if I. I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. And that's yes and no, because, like, some pains are necessary for growth. They help you handle things, even though in the moment, it really sucks. But, you know, pain can also lead to growth and improvement. It's just, you know, a double-edged sword, because it can also lead you to a very bad and dark place that may or may not come out of. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research. To save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. I did, did that help? Don't worry about it. I got you, man. Right. As long as, you know, you hold up your end of the bargain. Whatever that bargain was, you know, can't remember. But keep it up. I'm watching you. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I can sense Maruki's gratitude towards me. Did it go up? Confidant level go up? It did. Okay, cool. 
chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of the battle. All right. Nice. Now we're at three. We get more XP for the Council of Kana. And he taught us how to achieve flow. Okay. Okay, I think that'll do for today. Oh? Hmm? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> oh, your mental training. Oh, uh, no. I didn't forget about our promise, of course. That you did, my dude. I'm gonna have some issues now. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> I'll, tri I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline. Discipline. And you help me with my research, just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Oh, is this him teaching us flow? Thanks to Maruka's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Your max SP increased by five. Ooh, awesome. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Jagarico? Well, okay, not sure what that is. Oh, okay. Now we're ready to wrap things up. And we're doing with him. His long ass overly complicated words. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys got to always call when I'm about to walk into the door. Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session for the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Good work over there. So you're actually working. Getting to your research now. Hey, yeah. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. Alright, see you later. Oh boy. He's getting lazy, which means I'm going to have to pick up his slack. Ah, you're back. I'm back, Sojiro. I've made it. I'm here. I'm safe. Mm -hmm. If you're asking for allowance... No. I was going to see if you needed help closing out the shop, dude. It's been a while since I helped you close up. I was just trying to be wow. nice. So this is where the chief brews his famous coffee. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't actually ever brewed a coffee yet since he taught me. I'll brew some coffee. Mm -hmm. Why not? You know how to brew coffee? Help you. Oh, yeah, you taught me. Help yourself to the beans on the shelves. I'll show you how to, how each kind of bean is different later. All right, I'm headed out to buy some cigarettes. So, Jiro, don't smoke. Neither one of us should be smoking. We both need to quit. Bad habit. And it's hella expensive these days. Hmm, I love the smell of good coffee. I don't. It's yes. really gross right. smelling, and it tastes even worse. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. Coffee has a lot of thought and love behind it, though. Maybe if you drink it in the metaverse, it'll heal your wounds, too. The Blanc coffee. <gasps> it was SP. The coffee is SP. <gasps> oh, I need more. <laughs> Looks like the chief's gen gen gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. Need more of those. Need everything that re raises SP. Hey, Sojiro, why are you dressed up so nice? Where are you going? Looks like you're doing well. Here, let, let me have a sip. Drink some of my coffee, Sojiro. What do you think? Mm. This aroma and soft richness. You use Blue Mountain, huh? 
Let me explain. Jamaican Blue Mountain. The Blue Mountain of Jamaica have a unique climate and volcanic soil advantageous for growing their famous high-quality coffee. The coffee undergoes a rigorous inspection process and is harvested in small quantities. This pr produces a rich coffee with a full aroma. <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Aw, so Jiro, I thought you were going to like say something nice about my coffee and you just totally shat on it. <laughs> Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you, I'll acknowledge your hard work. Thank you, Sojiro. <laughs> you look like a real barista standing at the counter like that. It seems like you're following all the rules and instructions I gave you. I can't believe this kid in front of me is a troublemaker with the criminal record. I'm telling you, Sojiro, I'm a nice dude. Just because I have a record doesn't mean I was doing something bad. Well, there's no need to have a lengthy conversation about this. Just keep up with your training. Yes, all my ma I mean coffee training. You have the opportunity to learn, so you should take some time for yourself and keep nice. improving. People would treat you with respect if you knew you could serve great coffee. Well, then. We should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. Eh, it's an okay day. It's not necessarily big. It's an okay day. <clears throat> Oh, can I read? Yay, yeah, 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 we can get through the other one. Medjed Mints. Hmm? Do you have virus protection? Introducing the newest software. What are your thoughts? I thought it was like the book. I'm like, wait, what? Software? Are we reading a electronics like sales magazine? <laughs> There's danger afoot in the internet world too, it seems. <laughs> that it? All done? We can just throw it on the ground now because we're done? <laughs> they were like gentlemen thieves, targeting evil corporations, but now they're just glory-seeking hackers. They're, they're sort of like us phantom thieves in that nobody knows exactly who they are. The section of on computing security was difficult, but I'm sure you gained some knowledge from it. Oh, increased my knowledge. Cool. Works for me. Then it literally increased it, but gave me experience points at least. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Well, thank you. I tried. Try to be, you know, somewhat useful at least. All right, let's begin. Uh. All right, we're just gonna end it here. I know, you know, it'll. We could stop it after this and end it, but you know, it's talking. There's probably gonna be a question to answer so after we read, and we've just spent a whole bunch of time talking. So we'll end it here. We'll start it next video with class and then we'll go out and do things i need like you know go around shops seeing things i can buy i need to eat make fervor now that we finished it and get a new dvd and see what kind of prepping item wise i can do for the metaverse and try to figure out how to like accept side quests unless that's just something that just comes up here and there just throughout the thing and i don't actually have like a choice of when I can accept them. Whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs>